Investigators could be reopening a 1985 murder case in Austin. They are looking into similarities between the beating deaths of Natalie Antonetti and two other women in the 1980s, where Mark Allen Norwood is the suspect. But just last year, another man went to prison for killing Antonetti. Shannon Wolfson has been following this case. She joins us live with these new developments. Well, Mark Norwood is already charged in Christine Morton's 1986 murder in Williamson County. And investigators say DNA from a hair at the Deborah Baker murder scene in 1988 makes him a suspect in that case as well, although he hasn't yet been charged. Now the Travis County District Attorney's Office is considering reopening a third case, the 1985 beating death of Natalie Antonetti because of similarities to the Baker and Morton murder scenes. All three of these women were beaten to death in their homes and all three were young mothers in their 30s. They were all killed on the 13th of the month and they all lived within miles of each other and Mark Norwood. Well, there is another twist in the Antonetti case though. A Travis County jury convicted Guilty. Dennis Davis of Antonetti's murder, murder, murder just last year. That's him there. He was sentenced to 36 years in prison. He was Antonetti's ex-boyfriend at the time of her death. The case against him was based on information from another ex-girlfriend who said Davis told her he killed Antonetti. Last April, Antonetti's son, Austin musician Johnny Gowdy, told us he believed his mother's killer had finally been brought to justice. On the phone this afternoon, he said he still believes Dennis Davis killed his mother. Travis County Assistant District Attorney Buddy Meyer said today that his office has not made a decision about how to proceed in the Antonetti case, but they have noted the similarities in the M.O. among those three cases, and they've discussed comparing evidence in the Antonetti case to the other two murder scenes. He said a comparison of evidence could include DNA, but wouldn't be limited just to DNA. Now, Mark Norwood, you'll remember, was arrested in the Morton case after DNA linked him to the scene last year and led to the release of Christine Morton's husband, Michael, after he served 25 years in prison for that crime. Our complete coverage of that story is online with this story right now at KXAN.com. Robert?